What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and we got something great in the mail today. We got our second box of Double Blaze, which is the uh, Japanese set, which will be the last featured set in the upcoming Unbroken Bonds out in May. So to, and I feel like this is perfect timing because if you haven't seen yesterday's video, definitely go check it out where we announced our second giveaway on the channel. We're giving away this Rishi Ram Charizard tag team card. Um, again, just to get, get excited for Unbroken Bonds as well as celebrate now on our second Double Blaze opening. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you do so. Uh, so that way you can double your chances to win by entering the giveaway there for this Reshi Ram Charizard tag team card. So uh, th there's a couple going on right now. And however, for the YouTube one, um, I feel like there's pretty straightforward instructions on the video on how to enter and make sure you follow those instructions. Uh, so if you're not sure what I'm talking about, that probably includes yourself. So just double check, make sure you're following all the rules and make sure you're properly entered. Uh, with all that being said, guys, let's get into this box of Double Blaze. All right, let's do this. Box number two of Double Blaze. Really excited about this. Uh, I feel like we had a very successful opening uh, of our first box where we got a lot of the cards that we've been talking about in this channel. So I'm talking, we pulled a Reshi Ram Charizard. We pulled a set of the Alolan Muck and Muck tag team, which is, I think is going to be my favorite uh, tag team going into Unbroken Bonds. And we even pulled the GX card, the regular GX that we're uh, excited about and talking about on the channel in the Whimsicott. Uh, my only complaint was that we did get a full art, but we didn't get a secret rare, kind of like a hyper rare or one of the uh, alternate arts. So that would be my only complaint and uh, that would be my goal for this box to get at least one of those. So today we are going to go with the left side of the box. So we got 15 packs of Double Blaze. Each one containing five packs. So this is SM10. And uh, so I and I actually just put in an order for uh, the next set. I think it's, I think, I'm not sure if it's 10A or 10B, but actually has an interesting name. It's called uh, GGN, which I'm not sure if that's just a, uh, a rough translation to what it's really called or if, it, I mean, if it's referring to like GG, like good game. Uh, I feel like that would be pretty cool. All right, so we got an escape rope, and uh, I can't remember what this guy's name is. Sandile, uh, Cottony, and then for our first car, <laughs> that is as troll as it gets, a Stunfisk. All right, let's see. One pack, one card to the front. Yeah, these Japanese packs are really easy to open, or they go through really fast. So we got a Marowak, pretty cool. I'm always a fan of Cubone and Marowak. Although I think I like Cubone better. I think it's cuter. We got the Tyrogue, Yasli. Seal, and then the looks like the Ash Ketchum trainer card, which is the um the one of the foil trainers. All right, let's see. We got a Kingler, Venonet, Rhydon. Feel like pull a lot of these. Uh, Litten, and then Incineroar. Oh, and um, maybe not this video, but I think in the near future, we'll talk about some of the new cards that have been announced on the Japanese side. A lot of them kind of, uh, they're, it's almost like tag team support in a way. A lot of the cards have uh, effects that, hmm, some kind of like Pokemon Center. It looks like a, a rescue, I'm not sure if it's a rescue stretcher or or what, but um, a lot of, they have a lot of effects that kind of support the tag teams and, and I think one that I'm really interested in, I think it's, I think it's a chandelure that maybe we'll talk about uh, in the near future and it has a very interesting effect. So I hope to get into that with you guys in the near future. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a dugong, mistrevis, cubone, nice, polywag, then an ultra ball. Alright, so so far no GXs or anything. Um, but we still got a ways to go. Ooh, this card is going to be so cool. Um, triple energy. Uh, the only caveat there is that it needs to be attached to an evolved Pokemon. So we have a Hunter. Growlithe. Gloom. Whoa! We already have him, so I would have uh, appreciated a different art, but this guy is the one I'm most excited about uh, in Unbroken Bonds, just to see what he does to the metagame. Uh, 
If he doesn't make a splash at all, I'll be very disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I think I lost my train of thought. <laughs> what were we talking about? Um, all right, let's see. We got a Wigglytuff. Uh, man, I'm not, is there like a Chansey baby? We got a Krabby and then a Volcanion. Looks pretty cool. All right, so we got a Kingler, Rhydon, Jigglypuff, Meowth with his Larvitar plushes, and then some kind of red rock. Is this like supposed to be like a Firestone or something? So I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying these, uh, you know, periodic Japanese uh, pack openings. But if uh, let me know what your thoughts thoughts are below. Uh, you know, definitely, um, uh, you know, I would probably cater towards things towards the, what the audience is looking for so definitely let me know what your own thoughts are Ooh, this Mew is really cool uh, though we feel like we're getting a uh, quite a few duplicates from our first box all right let's see I'm not sure what this is we got another Krabby do duo uh, coughing and then a wheezing this art I think I said it last time, but it just it reminds me of Rick and Morty. And uh, I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, guys, but uh, for this giveaway, um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about as far as whether or not you're entered, definitely go double check the video. I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and oh, look at that Mewtwo. It's not like a GX or anything, but he looks awesome. Let me put this guy over here. Uh, and and I do feel like it's straightforward enough that you know if uh, when we do do the drawing I'll probably enforce that rule. Uh, oh, that's what we were talking about that the triple energy. So I think what I like about it is I feel like the the meta game is likely shifting in a direction where there will be a variety of um, GX viable stuff, tag team viable stuff, and like non GX viable stuff because. Um, you know that that the tag team which is like the new mechanic is super powerful and kind of has yeah it does have the drawback of three prize cards but at the same time like it, it is kind of like handicapped somewhat because it can't use that triple energy acceleration since they're always basic that you don't evolve into a tag team uh so i really like that um while on the one hand like triple energy just sounds so powerful but the fact that they restricted to evolve so that automatically precludes all the tag teams i think is a very good move especially when a lot of the gx abilities these days they are going forward they have like if you have an extra amount of energy on it that it does like crazy amounts of damage i feel like that's perfect all right love this art of the diglet and then we oh guys why do we keep drawing the same stuff uh was this the the full art we, we this is the full art we got last time as well and we pulled this gx like i got this box like weeks if like uh at least a week probably two like time difference from different vendors but we're getting all the same cards what is going on so as happy as I am to see the the, the whimsicott, like mm, I, I wouldn't mind having a little bit more variety, guys. Uh, I do like this Poliwhirl though. Got a Tour Cat, and then it's a Lazzle. All right, last pack, guys. Let's do this. Let's see, I'm guessing this is like a welder or something. Porygon two, Cleffa. Esper and then a RK9. All right, not bad. This Mewtwo looks awesome. Then we got my favorite Muckalola Muck, and then my second favorite, which is also for like the Whimsicott GX. So, very nice opening. Um, and just a quick couple announcements. Uh, so, some stuff to look forward to in the near future. Um, we got we still have a lot of tins to open uh as well as obviously in may we're going to be hitting up unbroken bonds uh and uh, we have some new japanese product that hasn't hasn't been released yet but we are looking to get it in uh as well as some more Yu-Gi-Oh content um so we haven't done a whole lot of that but look forward to some more 
in the near future uh on that guys uh reminder that we do have a couple giveaways going one on youtube one on instagram so definitely follow me there uh and if you did enjoy this content hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and again let me know in the comments you know what kind of stuff you like to see do you like this japanese get the sneak peek of future sets and stuff like that let me know other than that guys i'm a wanda turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace